So there are a ton of cliches and limiting beliefs that society has given people, and one of those limiting beliefs and cliches is time is money. Time is money? What? Time and money are two completely different things. Yes, your time is worth money if you're working an hourly rate, but time is not money, and I can prove that. Let me ask you a question. I can prove that with one question. If I were to give you a million dollars tomorrow morning, right? Million bucks, that's a lot of money. But I told you that you couldn't wake up in the morning, would you take it? The answer is no. I don't know one person that would take that deal because your time on earth is so valuable, more than I can even express in this video. Until you experience that firsthand, none of us know when our deadline is. It's really important to understand that time is not money. It's worth way more than money because time is limited and money is infinite. There is no shortage of money in the world as we've seen with the government printing trillions of dollars, world shut down. Money is something that you can literally print and make. There's a whole new source of money called cryptocurrency, right? It's a digital asset, a currency, Money is being created every single day infinitely. There's no limitations to it, but with your time, it is very limited. I could be here tomorrow, or I could be here in 100 years from now. I hope I don't live that long, but I could be here, I don't know how long. I don't know when my expiration date is. So I wanna to talk to you guys about this video, about how you can leverage your time and actually 10X your productivity. Now, I wanna just give you a quick example of how do you 10X your productivity. Let me give you an example of somebody. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon.com. Everybody uses it. I'm pretty sure you could probably agree with me on this one. Everybody has used Amazon at this point. Did you know he has over a million employees? So let's just do the math. For every single hour that Jeff Bezos is working, right, whether he's actually working, sitting on a beach or not, it's like he's working a million hours, okay? He is leveraging other people's time that may not value their time like he does because his time is worth so much. One hour of his time because he works a million hours is worth an ungodly amount of money, right? Each of those people that are producing some sort of revenue, delivering packages, working in the fulfillment, whatever they're doing, they're producing him an insane amount of money. For every hour he's working, he's getting a million hours. That's a powerful statement in itself. And so time is worth way more than money. And I'm gonna give you three tips right now that are gonna help you break through, start to leverage your time better. So the first thing that I need you to do is start to get control of your time. Start to understand where your time is going. This is an area that I've struggled with, but until you track something, it cannot grow. You need to track and document your day. So I want you to go about your day just as normal, just like you do any other day and actually look at what you're spending your time on. So from the time that you wake up, the time your eyes open, till the time your eyes close in your day, I want you to track every single piece of your day. I want you to track it to the point where you have it on a piece of paper, not in your phone, on paper, in writing in front of you so there's no disputing it. What did you do? How much time do you spend on your phone? Is it 10 minutes in the morning? Is it 20 minutes in the morning? Is it an hour in the morning? What are you doing with your time? If you track it, it's something that will grow, it's something that you can understand better, and it's something that you can fine tune and make better. So that leads me to my first question for you. Out of all the tasks, once you do this exercise and you document your day, what is the one thing on there that is the most important? What is it that provides the most value in your life, but also in your business? This is mostly a business talk, so I really want you to document your day and really understand what in your business that you're tracking is the most beneficial. That is the first step. What is that? Write that down, drop that down in the comments. I wouldn't wanna hear from you. I wanna know what is the task that you do in your business every single day that provides the most value. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, the second piece is to delegate. This is an area that a lot of people struggle with and since you're documenting your day and what you're doing, now I want you to document all of those things that you're doing that are not that number one, number two, or even number three thing. You can put one in there, but if you wanna do your top three, I'm okay with that too, but I need you to document the process and the steps of what you're doing and all those other activities to a T. Go through it step by step, document every single step of that and create what we call an SOP, Standard Operating Procedure. This is a map that's gonna allow you to kind of delegate and start outsourcing the areas of your life that are not producing value, that are not bringing you a ton of revenue. If you have a task on there that's worth $15 an hour, then you need to outsource and delegate that. 
because that is something that you can delegate overseas, you can delegate it locally, and that's gonna give you a lot of your time back. Social media marketing, sending messages on social media, being in Facebook groups, doing actual design work. That may not be the best use of your time. Generating revenue for me is where I have the most value for my time. So I want you to start delegating all of the things on those lists and focus on at least one, but at the best, at the very most, I should say, three things that are gonna be the most beneficial that are gonna move your business forward more than anything else, and everything else gets delegated. So that was tip number two. And before I get to tip number three, I wanna ask you for a quick favor. If this video is helping you already, please drop a like, drop a comment, introduce yourself, and make sure that you subscribe. So let's jump over to tip number three. And tip number three is streamlining your communication. I cannot tell you how important this is. This is something that I'm literally doing today, not just with my internal management team and my partners, but also within my internal employees and team that I have. Everything is gonna get streamlined. Emails, phone calls, text messages, um, Voxer groups, Messenger, all the different ways, Click, we use Click for our team chat. All of these different forms of communication dilute the amount of time that I have in a day. I have to jump from platform to platform to platform to platform. You need to streamline that. So on the list of the things that you're doing throughout the day when you document social media or responding to text messages or prospecting, whatever that is, the specific task is that you don't think that you need to be doing that's not in your top three or it's not your number one, then you need to actually start streamlining those and having your people do those for you. So running your Facebook profile, posting on social media for you, responding to the social media messages, sending out emails, answering your emails. If it's really important, they can send you an email and prioritize that email like, hey, you need to read this one or hey, you need to respond to this one. This is really important. You need to streamline and downsize the places where people can get a hold of you and communicate with you directly. Now, people don't need to know that when they're messaging you on Facebook that it's not you, that it's your assistant, right? If it's really important, then your assistant can loop you into the conversation and you can jump in and take over from there. But this is gonna allow you to free up a lot of time and give you more freedom to do the things that you really enjoy, whether that's the graphic design, sales, prospecting, relationship building, going out and doing networking events, speaking events like I just did. This is gonna allow you to give you more time. I'm gonna be using my time that I'm gonna get back now and writing my book and getting that finished so that you guys can have that in your hands by the end of the year. So this is a really important thing. So number one was doc documenting and tracking your day. Number two was delegating those things that are not that valuable, that are low level, 15, 20, $30 an hour tasks. And the third thing is streamlining your communications. For me, I'm gonna be using Voxer primarily. That's the way, if you need something right away, you're gonna to have to get a hold of me on Voxer. I'm not gonna accept people that I don't know, so it's gonna be only my internal team, people that are like my management team and people that are my employees, they're gonna be able to get a hold of me on Voxer right away, and then everything else, emails, phone calls, text messages, that's all getting funneled to my team. I will not be available for those things, and if it's urgent or if it's something that needs to get handled, then I will get an email from somebody on my team, it'll get filtered through them first, and they'll send it to me and say, hey, I need you to respond to this client. And so it's gonna cut 90% of the waste of where I'm spending my time every day and give me back so much more freedom. Because the reality is, since I have all these amazing people, I'm paying them great money, I'm building this amazing team and we're bringing on more team members as you've probably heard in our previous videos, I need to streamline my time and really spend more time doing the things that help the business grow. And I want more time with my family because I've been working a lot for many, many years, more than 12 hours a day. And it's time for me to start kind of winding that down and from the sense of I want to be with my family and I've built an amazing company and I need to let the people that I've hired and the people that are on my team do what they do best because managing Facebook messages, managing uh, text messages and phone calls, that is not what I do best. What I do best is coaching, teaching and creating content like this on YouTube. So those are the three tips. So now what I wanted to do, and this is really important, is I want to invite you to the Instagraphics Pro Network. If you haven't already heard about it, it's a community of amazing designers who are trying to grow in their health, wealth, and relationships and really reach the next level in their career and go from struggling designer to successful entrepreneur and business owner. If that sounds like you, please join us on Facebook and the Instagraphics Pro Network. All you gotta do is type in Instagraphics Pro Network. We also have a link down in the description and I'll see you there. Oh, and by the way, if this video was helpful for you, please share this with a friend. Whether they're a graphic designer, web motion designer, or web designer or not, somebody needs to hear this today. So if you could share this message, I'd greatly appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I love you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. Until the next time, keep looking up.